Hello everyone, my name is Hashim and I am an assistant professor at the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at Carleton University, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. So now I will present a neural adaptive stochastic attitude filter on the special orthogonal group of order 3, SO3. And the stochastic observer successfully estimates rigid bodies orientation as well as gyroscope uncertainties. Today's outline include abbreviation and preliminaries. Next, I will present the attitude estimation problem. We will then move to the problem formulation. Next, I will present the neural network structure and the proposed filter design. To facilitate the implementation at low sampling rate, I will present the neural based stochastic filter designed in discrete form. And I will move next to numerical results. And finally, I will conclude our presentation with a summary. In this presentation, I denotes inertial frame, B denotes body frame, R is a set of real numbers, R plus is a set of positive real numbers, R n by m is a set of real numbers with dimension n by m, SO3 denotes the special orthogonal group of order 3, satisfying the following properties. And R denotes rigid body's orientation, which is commonly known as attitude. Now let us move to the attitude estimation problem. The attitude estimation problem is an essential task in majority of robotics applications. So examples include unmanned aerial vehicles, ground vehicles, underwater vehicles, rotating radars, satellites, and others. The orientation or attitude of a rigid body can be defined through angle of rotation, such as roll angle, pitch angle, and yaw angle. So generally, the attitude in the body frame or in the rotating frame is defined with respect to a fixed inertial frame. The common objective is to control the rigid body's orientation. To ensure successful control process, the true attitude information is required. The attitude information is normally obtained through a group of sensor measurements. But unfortunately, measurements obtained by low-cost sensors are corrupted with uncertainties. This means that the true attitude information is not equal to the measured or to algebraically reconstructed attitude. As such, a robust filter that is able to reject sensor measurement uncertainties and provide good estimates is required. The following diagram illustrates our research objective. So again, our objective is to design a filter that provides good estimation results given measurements obtained from low-cost measurement units. So now let us move to the problem formulation. The true attitude dynamics of a rigid body rotating in three-dimensional space is defined as r dot equal r skew symmetric of omega, where r again is the orientation of the rigid body and omega is the angular velocity or the true angular velocity. So define ri as an observation in the inertial frame where the measurement of ri with respect to the body frame it is given as yi equal r transpose ri plus a noise. So for gyroscope or angular velocity measurements, it can be defined as follows, where omega m is the angular velocity measurements, it's equal to the true angular velocity omega plus noise. And here n denotes white noise, and n can be formulated as a Brownian motion process, which is n equal q multiplied by d beta by dt. Therefore, considering the above listed equations, the true attitude dynamics can be defined in stochastic sense as follows. dr 
equal r skew symmetric of omega m dt minus r multiplied by skew symmetric of q d beta. Now, let us define the estimate of the orientation as r hat. And let us define the error in estimation as r tilt equal r transpose r hat. So our objective is r tilt goes to the identity matrix. Now let us define the filter dynamics as follows r hat dot equal r hat multiplied by skew symmetric of omega m minus c, where c is a neural adaptive based correction matrix which will be designed later. This way, we can obtain the error dynamics as follows. Also, the equilibrium distance of attitude error can be defined as follows. It's important to note to the following assumption. The number of non-collinear vector observations and the measurement in this work is considered to be greater than or equal to 2. So now let us move to neural network structure and the filter design. In this work, the neural network structure is considered to be a linear in parameter structure. So for the following function, f of x equal w transpose phi x plus alpha f, this is the neural network structure that we consider, where w denotes a q by m dimensional matrix of weights, and phi of x denotes activation functions, a q denotes number of neurons, and alpha f denotes approximated error vector. Now, let us define phi as an activation function, and let us approximate the following two nonlinear functions as follows. Now, let us present the neural adaptive based nonlinear stochastic filter design, where r hat dot equal r hat multiplied by skew symmetric of omega m minus c, and w sigma hat dot, which is the adaptation mechanism of the neural weights, equals this equation, and the correction vector is designed as follows. Let us now move to our paper results. Recall the stochastic attitude dynamics dr equal r multiplied by skew symmetric of omega m dt minus r multiplied by skew symmetric of q d beta. Let assumption 1 hold true and consider the neural nonlinear stochastic observer r hat dot equal r hat multiplied by skew symmetric of omega minus c where omega m is equal to the true angular velocity plus noise this way, we can conclude that all the signals in the closed loop are almost semi-globally uniformly ultimately bounded in the mean square. To prove this result, let us define the following potential function, v, where its first and the second partial derivative with respect to the normalized equilibrium distance attitude error is as follows. One end with the following differential operator, where e includes the normalized equilibrium distance of attitude error and the Fulpinus norm of neural weights. Therefore, one end with the following results. And this implies that E, or the error vector, is almost semi-globally uniformly ultimately bounded in the mean square, which completes our proof. So to facilitate the implementation at low sampling rate, let us present the neural-based stochastic observer design in discrete form. Now, let us move to the numerical results. Consider a small sampling rate delta t equal to 0 0.01 second, and assume the initial value of r is equal to the identity matrix, and the true angular velocity is as follows. Let the initial estimate of the neural network weights be set as zeros, and let the initial estimate of the attitude be designed as follows. 
where the normalized equilibrium distance of attitude error is said to be very large, equal to 0 0.994, which approaches the unstable equilibrium. So this figure illustrates high value of noise corrupting angular velocity measurements in comparison to the true data. So in this figure, we see that the dashed line refers to the true data, whereas the blue, red, and the green solid lines refers to measurements. Now, this figure shows the estimated Euler angles, phi hat, theta hat, and u hat, plotted in blue dashed line against the true Euler angles, phi, theta, and epsi, plotted in green solid line. So as we can see, this figure demonstrates fast and strong tracking capability of the proposed approach. Now the effectiveness and robustness of the neural adaptive approach is illustrated in the slide where the error initiated at large value and rapidly reaches very close to the neighborhood of the origin. And note that in this figure we used only three neurons. So this figure also illustrates the error in normalized equilibrium distance attitude error. However, in this figure, we considered the difference in tracking performance using three neurons, 10 neurons, and 50 neurons. So as we can see that more number of neurons lead to better tracking performance. However, of course, with more computational requirements. Finally, this figure shows the boundedness of the neural adaptive estimates. So as we can see that the estimates converges very close to zero as R tilt or as normalized equilibrium distance of attitude error goes to zero. This table shows statistical analysis of mean and the standard deviation of the steady state error between five to 29 seconds with respect to variant numbers of neurons. So as illustrated by this table, that greater number of neurons result in improved steady state error conversions, but as we said earlier, with more computational power requirements. So in this table, we see the difference between three neurons, 10 neurons, and 50 neurons. So in summary, accurate attitude estimation is a fundamental component of successful robotics applications. So accurate estimation is a challenging when the system is equipped with low cost measurement units. And this work addressed the attitude estimation problem using neural adaptive stochastic filter on the special orthogonal group of order three or SO3. And the proposed filter ensured semi-globally uniformly ultimately bounded of the closed loop error signals and the mean square and the numerical simulation illustrated robustness and rapid adaptability of the proposed neural adaptive approach. So thank you for listening and have a great day.